Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on two baby quilts and I'm going to try and get them quilted up done uh, at, not necessarily at the same time. I'm going to focus on one and then I will focus on the other. They're uh, not too big that I can't just uh, give them a little roll once they're, uh, once they're done. So we're going to focus on this one first. It's kind of got a nice little nature theme to it. I've got a Winnie the Pooh little um, applique down here on it. Okay, and we're just going to put teddy bears throughout the whole thing. It's super cute, and we're going to make it really easy. So what I did is to set the guidelines. Oops, hold on. Let's here. For an edge to edge, I went all the way up to here, keep myself within a quarter inch on all sides, and then over to the other side as well. Same, and then down as far as my throat space will go, okay, and then across, and then I give it a measure from the top of the quilt, the very, very top of the quilt, okay, to the very, very end of the quilt here, and then I put that measurement into it, and it's going to give me a suggestion of how many rows will fit of that stitch out that I want for edge to edge, going to fill out in between that space. Now I can tweak that if I want more, or tweak it if I want less. I can stretch it, I can shrink it, I can do a few things to manipulate it at that point in time. So obviously the freedom is mine to do what I need to do. So I did choose a nice light green thread for this, just because I thought it would look really pretty, especially against the green and the gold. And let's just get stitching, start quilting. Locking in those stitches, and then we'll see here. Up here, we can trim and bury the threads. Now, this is a relatively fast stitch out. See, it's just making a bear head right there. Shave will probably see a little bit more when it comes to stitching over on the, the nine patch there, or the patch part. Now, it says we're going to do uh, four rows. They do have a bit of space in between the rows. I like to make it so it's a little bit less space in between the rows. So uh, these might be just slightly bigger to fill up the gap. So, And obviously it, it, when I put a nine patch together, I put two strips of three by three, three inches uh, wide and obviously the strip of the fabric and then cut another three inches and then made the nine patch. Nine patch turned out to be approximately eight and a quarter or eight-ish. And then I did a matching square to fill in that space in between that matches the project. So there's gray and gold and green and peach and coral and everything else in this one, so. It just does teddy bear and a loop and a teddy bear and a loop and they're upside down and right side up and sideways and everywhere. Yes, you don't really need too fancy of a pattern uh, when it comes to most quilts. Sometimes just the basic looks the best. So and when it comes to baby quilts, you kind of want them quick and easy and uh, don't want them just you know, big huge blocks or anything like that. So you could, so you could. There we go, that's a pretty teddy bear. Pretty teddy bear. Right. And that should take, should take Walt a little bit. It's got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve bears to stitch out per stitch out. And it goes right to here, okay, over on this far side here. And then I'm going to do uh, ones with a, an eagle on the other one over here. But I want to get the, this one done first, and then I will concentrate on that one. But it's nice to have them both loaded up on the long arm at the same time. It makes the process of them much, much easier to, to, get, to get around. I like that thread. Just, just enough of a pop of a color. Didn't want gray, didn't want yellow. A nice little, nice little green. Helps pick it up. 
Very nice. Yes, I did show these on um, Cross Stitch Tuesday uh, uh, last week. And um, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to get a chance to film quilting them. But I, I thought, you know what, I'm going to. I'm going to. So. And then when it comes to the next one, when I go and do an edge to edge on that one, it's the same principle, the corners, and then the length of it, and then put that in, and it'll tell me what it thinks it needs to stitch at. Or, and then I can, of course, tweak it from there, whether I want it dense or more light. More of a free-flowing sort of stitch. Yes, cute teddy bear. A couple big ones, a couple small ones. So I like I like the variation, and I think it goes really well with this whole quilt top idea. And it did seem to me that this uh, mushroom fabric here was uh, kind of directional because it seemed all the mushrooms were going the right, the one way, and then the little paw prints were going another. So I thought, oh, okay, I better make sure they're all going the right direction. So note when you're doing or working with directional fabric, make sure all your pieces are, you know, facing the right, or mix it up, and then there's no right or wrong. So but if you have like five one way and one not, it's gonna look a little weird. <laughs> Four more bears. I really like the way that looks with a textured and a solid. I think it looks really pretty. Very simple and easy pattern. Whatever you make your patch at, your nine patch or four patch or disappearing nine patch, take, you can take that and a nice big solid chunk next to it of a square of fabric, whether it's a solid or a, a, you know, a pattern piece like this one. It makes for a quick and easy quilt. No fuss, no muss. Finish the last two teddy bears. And then it's going to ask me to mark the spot where the next row is going to start. It's going to tell me where it wants to start or so I can use those pinpoints when I roll the quilt to go over on the left and then over onto the right. So we have it within the same space of the quilt top. Now I could have squished it and fit two rows within here, but to me it wasn't going to look that the greatest on the quilt. It would have made the teddy bears too small and maybe not as, you know, a little fluffy. So I don't mind rolling it each row to make sure it's going to stay where I want it to stay.
because the stitch ends all the way up at the top and not normally at the bottom, that's what it wants you to do. So we're going to lock those stitches. Pull back, give ourselves nice tails to work with. And we're doing our tying up. Now we're going to put continue. And then it says click to move to the right registration point. I'm going to say yes. So it's going to go to the right and then to the left. Okay, so right there. So I'm going to put a little chalky mark. Okay, oops, there we go. I hit OK. I make sure I got my little chalk mark there. Okay. Where it will be hidden inside the binding. So, okay, so that is really close to the edge. So I know it's right there on the, um, like the stitch line. So I'm just going to hit OK just so I can move it and then just kind of do like this. So I'm just marking where I know it's going to come in, but I know it's got to come in just a smidge because I don't want it to go beyond. So, all right, so there we go. Now I unclamp both sides. I'm going to take this one off because it was just sitting there temporarily. Okay. And then I will roll so I can make sure that second row is going to get fully stitched out. I don't have to go too far because it doesn't matter. It's only going to stitch out one row at a time. Reclamp back up. Okay. And now what I want to do here is I want to use the hand guided to stitch down the side. Okay. Right here. So we continue to go down here to the end. We'll do that on both sides. Now we're going to go as if to roll the quilt, so we'll get out of hand guided mode and then go to roll the quilt and it's asking for it to continue on the left registration mark. So we know it was right about here, okay, okay, and then it wants to the right registration mark, which is right about there, okay, and then we're going to confirm that with the head where we're going to like put it where it's previously stitched here that it is actually in line with the one on the screen and that's exactly where the bottom of the foot ends so I know when my bare head comes up it's not going to go up into this stitching it's going to go fit right into the stitching uh, the space right there provided okay so let's just make sure everybody's in the pool okay like I said, just going to scoot it down just, just pull it down just a tiny, tiny little bit because that's what I did with the first row. Continue stitching and then it's going to fit, just pull it, pull it just down just a little bit farther. Make sure it gets filled. I don't really like big gaps in between. Sometimes some patterns leave a nice big gap and you know, some people like it and some people don't. So, there we go. And that's just going to do row after row after row. And then I'll do the second one and we'll be all done. Okay. And on that note, <laughs> thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And if you're not a subscri uh, subscriber to the channel, please do so. Uh, apparently 60% of the people who watch our videos are not subscribed. Why? Subscribe now. Click the button and the notification. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Big hugs from the Mama Pop Quilt Shop.